Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is Pick It Up, where I review a trade that I enjoy. Today, I'm talking about Green Lantern Rebirth. Published in 2004, it was written by Jeff Johns with art by Ethan Van Skyver. As someone who's not necessarily a fan of the Green Lantern, I really love this book. What Jeff Johns does with this is amazing. Technically, there are a lot of retcons in this story. None of them actually change events. They just explain motivations and reasons behind events. For instance, they explain Parallax and make him the reason why the Green Lantern rings can't control Yellow. They also explain why the Spectre chose to bond with Hal Jordan. They even give a reason for Hal Jordan's hair going early gray. Johns picks up on so many old threads and things that were kind of simply thrown away to bring together a mythos for the Green Lantern Corps that culminates in us getting the spectrum of cores that we have today. This story even does a great job in describing the styles and partially the personalities of the different Green Lanterns that are involved in it and how they use their ring. And it's, it's really something that you didn't always see. Even though the purpose of this book is to bring back Hal Jordan, everyone gets highlighted in a way that really makes you want to know more about the core in full. Some of the standout moments include not only more than one person telling off Batman, but Hal Jordan punching him right in the face. You know Guy Gardner likes that action. We see how annoying it can be to try and live with the Spectre as Hal can't even go to a baseball game without people admitting their sins to him. We get Green Arrow using a Green Lantern ring and of course he makes an arrow with it. We also get Kyle Rayner who has been running around the universe trying to make up for the lack of a Green Lantern Corps finally meeting Hal Jordan in a positive situation. I highly recommend this. This is the start of probably one of the greatest Green Lantern runs ever. Johns pulls a lot of things from the past and really just keeps on building on it from this point out. This is the start of a run that's a master class on how to do continuity properly. Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.